But we want to start with that series of road rage shootings in northwest Harris County. Thank you for joining us at 10. I'm Keith Garvin. Good evening. I'm Daniela Guzman. One driver targeted last month. Then just a few weeks later, another shooting happened. This all happening on 99 near 249. Tonight, both drivers are speaking only with KPRC2 News. Gage Golding sharing where their drive took a turn to the south. This is about as peculiar as a situation can get. We're talking two different shootings on two different days, but this is the same stretch of roadway. Heck, they were driving the same way at the same interchange and the same model of pickup truck. This white truck getting shot one time, but this gray Dodge pickup riddled with five different bullets. And yeah, there's a driver on the other side of this glass. Those bullets hitting a Yeti cup, even a bullet being dislodged in the driver's shoe. But what's amazing through all of this, both of them got away without a scratch. I heard the gunshot and I heard it hit my truck. I like hear like tink tink tink. Two eerily similar stories from two people that never met before today, but have more in common than you could imagine. Maybe they don't like the Dodge trucks. <laughs> Anna driving around a slower driver who was camping in the fast lane a few weeks ago. That sparking the other driver to pull a gun and shoot her rear driver's side door. My boyfriend's jacket was laying on top of the seat. Went through the jacket. I'm grateful I didn't have my stepson in the back or else I would have hit him. Johnny's story, a carbon copy. Someone slow in the fast lane last Friday. He goes around and brake checks them. Not a good idea, but not deserving of five gunshots in the side of his pickup. When they pull up next to me, I just look over and it seems like a flash. His life also flashing before his eyes, a bullet ending up in his seat. You're sitting on it somewhere in there. Yeah, it's somewhere, yeah. I mean, you almost got Lieutenant Dan, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And keeping up on the Forrest Gump theme here, another bullet in his running shoes. One went in my shoe, but it's like I didn't find it in my shoe till I got home 40 minutes later. And this shoe was on your foot? On, on my feet, yes, yeah, yeah. Plus a Yeti cup. That's a shining example of what one of these bullets could have done to Johnny or Anna. It still blows my mind to just think about it. What might blow your mind? Road rage shootings aren't a rarity across Houston. I think there's a lot of contributing factors as to why we may see an uptick and in increase in road rage, road rage incidents. And even worse, without concrete evidence, these cases are tough to crack. A lot of pieces that have to uh, be uh, identified in order to try to get some investigative leads. Out on the road, a dash cam can really help police track down any suspect in a road rage incident. Unfortunately, these two individual events, they did not have much concrete evidence to go off of. Now, if you catch yourself in a road rage incident of any level, the best thing you can do, check it out. Switch lanes, get some space between you and the other driver. And look, no matter how angry you might be, how upset you might be, never pull a weapon, even if it's just to threaten or scare somebody. Uh, it, putting somebody in harm's way is just 100 percent not worth it. I'm reporting live for you tonight. Gage Golding, KPRC2 News. Uh, we need to be more careful than ever, ever, Gage. Thank you, sir.